So we've got central nervous system, which is the brain and the spinal cord. That's central, the center of the body. So when Seth mentioned a lot of treatments and methods and coping strategies are trying to focus on the brain, we often might hear words like the amygdala, for example, the limbic system. Those are all brain and those are important, right? These things are going off in the brain. But then the peripheral nervous system, if you think peripheral vision, right, when you can see vision off to the side, the peripheral nerves come out of the brain and out of the spinal cord. And the vagus nerve is a nerve that comes out of the brain and goes to the gut, to the heart, to the lungs, to all the organs. And so the autonomic nervous system is part of this peripheral nervous system. Now, the one thing um, that's important to also remember, or this might be new to you, is the autonomic nervous system governs fight, flight, freeze. It also governs what's called shutdown and collapse. Fight, flight is inherently what we see in anxiety, high tension in the body. Then fight, flight, freeze is kind of the next level of survival. And then for some of us, if we stay in that fight, flight, freeze for a long time, we eventually go into some form of not everybody, but many of us will go into fight, flight, freeze, and then collapse. And that's where these chronic illnesses come up, uh, even gut problems. Now, I wanted to give you that overview because this autonomic nervous system governs fight, flight, freeze, but it also governs our digestion, our immune system, our circulation, our breath, our lymphatics, our endocrine hormonal system, how we engage with the world and others, how we feel safety. So all these little nerves are coming out to the muscles, to the organs. And so what we work with when we teach in our courses, we're working with the peripheral nervous system. We work with movement, we work with touch, we work with the organs, we work with the brain stem, but not the brain. We work with the joints of the body, the movements of the body, these sorts of things. So that is how um, we get into the brain is through the peripheral nervous system.